This is Jay Addison from Crypto Biz Magazine. We are live at the Inside Bitcoins convention in Las Vegas with the CEO of GAW Miners, Josh Garza. Josh, how are you doing today? Doing good. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Thank you. Tell us about your company and what you all do there. Um, so we, we do a number of things, but I guess the main thing that we're most well known for is we sell uh, digital cloud miners. So we uh, essentially allow people to um, get into the cloud mining business uh, a low cost of entry and kind of learn about it and then as they learn they can scale up from there. Okay, so I know mining is complicated, but can you briefly explain what mining is to people that are non-technical? Sure. So that's uh, I, I'd say that's our niche is to simplify it. So we have taken out all like the, the pool configuration. So essentially in a, in, in a sense what cloud mining is is the um, same thing as regular mining but just scaled across lots and lots of computers. You don't know what regular mining is, essentially it's the act of confirming transactions and then when a, a transaction is confirmed by all these various miners and rewarded with the currency itself. So uh, cloud mining is the same thing but scaled across lots and lots and lots of miners and that you essentially want a portion of. So, uh, so what we do is that we uh, take that portion and take out all the configuration and the complication of uh, knowing you know, what's the best this or that, or, and, and just really make it simple, present it in an easy way, and allow someone to use their credit card and buy it whenever they want. That's fantastic. What is it about the company that makes you guys so successful? Um, I think because uh, from the beginning, we, so I think there was, there's two really important things. I think the first is that we're very uh, transparent as a company, like uh, the, myself and the other guys who run it. Uh, we didn't hide behind pseudo names, or I, mean, I never even heard of that until I came in this industry. Uh, yeah. I'm used to having to say, like, this is who I am. You know, here's my LinkedIn, here's the this, here's the that. You gotta be able to do Google me. That's yes. the industry I come from. So we were very successful because we were very open with what we did. Uh, and then as time went on, uh, we I, I looked at the market and said, well, uh, one path is we could sell to the same people over and over and over and over again, uh, like a lot of companies in the industry do. Or another path is that we can try to broaden this thing and put some zeros behind it and sell to the general population, which uh, you know allows us to have a lot more zeros behind things. So we were successful because uh, you know, despite the uh, market pressure to you know, continue to keep things uh, in very in a very technical way, we departed from that and said, you know, we're going to make things simple and colorful, and make things drag and drop, and make you know. So we we are very focused on making things open and accessible to new miners that know nothing about it, um, and enable. You know, we our goal is to make you be able to do it in less than a minute. Like if we can't do our job in less than a minute, then we revise and revamp what we're doing. So you're so really just making things really easy. Really easy for the audience. I mean, one of the things that we're trying to do is bridge the gap between the older financial audience and the crypto people. And, and that's really what you guys are doing. You're making it so easy that anybody can come along, hit a button, put their card in or whatever, and, and get going. And we've, uh, we've done a lot to kind of gamify the experience. Some, you know, we allow, we have like these boosts and these amps that people can apply on their miners and they have fun and they talk to each other about it. And they, very cool. they can actually uh, vote for each other and then that gives them point. I mean, so it's very social. It's and like very a cloud interactive. mining community yeah, created, exactly. really. And so that, that, that has allowed us to expand exponentially because that's what I think uh, most normal people want. Sure, and then they're also sharing the word and, and you know, it's exactly. it, word of mouth helps a huge amount, right? Exactly. Now, how has Bitcoin's price dropping in the last little bit here affected mining? Um, it hasn't, I mean, obviously, it's like anything that uh, when a currency that you, you're heavily re you rely on drops, then it doesn't help. Um, you know, obviously our sales have dropped a little bit, but it's uh, it's also interesting because when prices go down like this, it, a lot of times it'll shake out the folks that are in it for real short-term games. And so, um, and, and sometimes, um, and while we welcome all miners, sometimes that, that group might be a little harder to serve because, uh, you know, they're kind of, you know, on this idea of, you know, I'm gonna get a 12-day ROI or yes. 20-day ROI. So it's kind of nice because uh, that kind of goes away for a little bit, and, uh, and and you know, and you get kind of more of the long term, like I'm in this for the long haul, long haul type of folks in. So, uh, so it, you know, has its advantages, disadvantages. So. so, what do you think is holding Bitcoin back from the mainstream? Uh, adoption, for sure, no question. I mean, the problem is that Bitcoin is presented in this way of it's it's usually always presented in the wrong way. So, so one way people think of Bitcoin is like this investment vehicle where. You know, they'll buy it at like $200 and one day it'll be like $10,000. Like no currency works that way. That's for um, sure. And so that's so that's a, the, the total wrong perception of going into it. Um, the other thing is that it, it, it's, I think it's, I would summarize it as commitment, you know, because uh, you get uh, multi-million dollar companies, hundred million dollar companies, uh, you know, quote unquote committing to Bitcoin. And all that really means is that 
they have a wallet address on their website and when someone pays them a bitcoin yes. they just cash it out back to usd uh, that doesn't help that doesn't our, help our, no. you know and, that, and that's the problem is that companies don't keep i mean we have we have lots and lots of bitcoins and uh, we've lost uh, millions and millions of dollars with this change but like we understand that's like part of the business like you can't ride just on the yes, way up yes, you have to ride sure. it in both directions yeah. and to this day we still i mean i'm not joking I, I made a rule that we would never sell our bitcoins ever for usd and for the last week you know every account i have is like man just josh is going lower sell oh, it sell it, sell i know it. i know but i look at it and say now like it like like how do i have faith in the business that i'm in if i'm selling it out when it you know when it's convenient you know i just yeah, yeah, i don't agree yeah. with that so yeah. if it goes down it goes down you know but i don't think it will i think if more companies commit to it the same way it'll go up so i think it's really lacking. sure it has to right i mean with, i mean with everything we've seen with the adoption with uh you know paypal square expedia oh, look i mean everybody's I mean, this adoption's got to help, right? right? It, it helps, but again, a lot of companies, um, I think it's more like marketing and trying to be trendy and things like that than it is, a real, I mean, because, you know, when you invest into this industry in a real way, I mean, again, it could mean that, you know, what you're holding on to becomes worth half as much the next yes, day. Yes, certainly, yeah. It means that you have to figure out how to get your vendors to accept it, right? Yes, because, yeah. I mean, again, it doesn't help to turn it to USD and then pay your vendors. You got to get your vendors to accept it. So it's, it's a commitment. Like, it takes a lot of work in order to do it. So the easy way out is just to say, yeah, I'm helping, quote unquote, you know, it's almost, I, I liken it to like Wi-Fi, you know, it's like, <laughs> like, you know, remember how like for a long time there wasn't Wi-Fi and then all of a sudden, you know, hotels were like, I offer Wi-Fi yes. and a bunch of hotels didn't offer Wi-Fi. And really at the end of the day, was it about green connectivity? Maybe, but it was also because if you offered Wi-Fi, more people would come to your hotel. Sure. And so I think for a lot of people, uh, companies accepting Bitcoin, that's what it is. It's more like, hey. I offer Wi-Fi. I offer Bitcoin, but it's not. That's not. That's different than making a commitment. To it the, it to certainly the is. Yeah, it, I think it has. I mean, it certainly must help a bit in that. You know, when you see the average person out there that's not technical, that's not into this sector at all, and they hear that you know PayPal and Expedia and all these guys are accepting Bitcoins, it, it's got to give them some comfort. Oh yeah. It, yeah, it certainly combats like this perception, this persona of it being bad. But again, uh, I'm of the belief that the the currency will do that itself. Like it will become more legit. Like as more people use it. As more people uh, accept it, they pay their vendors in it. That that adoption. I mean, it, it's again, it's not it's not a um, it's not like a marketing, you know, um, scheme type. Of, you know, it's, if if it's just used normally, the normal people will start using it. Yes. And then you know, so you know what I mean. It doesn't need like I know what you mean. Yeah, like yeah, that. yeah. It's yeah. Just, we need it's more good. adoption. It, yeah, it's good. You know, what we really need we need simpler solutions like yours. What you guys have done to make it so that your average person off the street can go to your site and in two minutes or in a minute, as you mentioned. Can sign up and now they're in the mining yeah, business exactly. kind of thing, right? Yeah. So, so they say, I'm a miner. And, yeah. You know, and then they're just proud to be able to say it. Yeah, that's exactly right. You guys have done it right. Uh, Josh Garza, CEO of GAW Miners. It's been fantastic talking to you today. I've got one more question. Sure. The price of Bitcoin, January 1st, 2015. Mm. Um, I think personally we're going to end up back in the six to $700 range. That's uh, my guess. Sounds good, good to me, Josh. Thanks, Thanks kindly for your time. No problem. This is Jay Addison from Crypto Biz Magazine, live from Meckler Media's Inside Bitcoins Conference in Las Vegas. Remember to subscribe to Crypto Biz Magazine at CryptoBizMag.com. Follow us on Twitter at CryptoBizMag. Thanks for joining us and learn more at CryptoBizMagazine.com.